Hello everyone, Boinky Boinky here. Today we are going to be playing Greyhound Tycoon. The objective of this game is to keep your dog in top condition and become famous through winning races. I, however, have slightly different plans. But before we do that, we first have to pick out our dog. There are various ones, each with their own pros and cons. All we care about is which one is the fastest. It seems to be this one. We also are able to name our dog. We need a name that feels powerful and makes us stand out from the others. Let's go with Timothy. Here is the city we live in, and our house is right in the middle of it. We live right next to a loan shark, so you know it's a good place to live. Across the street, we have the bedding shop, which is where we'll be spending the majority of our time. The dog supply shop is right next to that, and the plane is for sending our dog off to camp. Over here is where you can make an honest living off your dog or be a wage slave at the zoo. That doesn't sound appealing to me as I want to gamble with my life savings. And to do that, we're going to the loan shark. The loan shark looks like it'd be on the Epstein list, so you know this is ethical. The max loan we can borrow is $10,000. So we're gonna click borrow 10 times. With this money, we're immediately going to the bedding parlor. The menu layout is pretty simple. In the top left, we have how much we can bet. Here we have the greyhounds and their odds. This works off the British odds, so we make $3 for every $1 we bet. Or put simply, the closer the numbers are to each other, and or the higher amount you need to put in, the better your odds. In terms of how we bet, we will always bet on who wins instead of minimizing risk like a coward. When we are betting all of our money, we are only able to click this $10,000 button repeatedly. Anyway, we will choose Light Larry, bet our money, and start the race. Luckily, we won the race and were given $33,000. Running off the high of winning, we will immediately go back to the betting parlor and continue betting. Super Neil has the best odds, so we'll bet on him. All is well, I won $66,000. As you can see, when I try going back to the betting parlor, there is not enough time to support this habit of mine. So I guess I'll take care of my dog. Okay, let's buy dog supplies from this nice gentleman. First and foremost, let's look at the dog food they have. Great dog food. Keeps him really healthy. No thanks. Good dog food. Keeps him healthy. Nah. Poor dog food. Keeps your dog alive. Yes, please. I guess we'll also buy a doghouse and a frisbee for him. Up next, we're going to the racetrack. Here we can either train the dog ourselves or hire a trainer. Training the dog ourselves takes 6 hours and costs $200. I don't love this dog enough for that. Every dog trainer has an interesting name, but we'll go with Bark Simpson. Finally, we're sending our dog off to camp. He will only go to the super camp of awesome for the rest of the playthrough. With this new day comes more time for gambling. Looks like we're betting on Jumpy Lady. And we won 124,000. For the final race on Tuesday, it looks like we'll bet on Rock King. Oh, this is very close. I don't know who will win. Oh, we doubled our money again. With no more time to gamble, we'll send our dog off to camp and start the next day. Looks like it's race day, time to make some money off our dog. One of the mechanics for this game is a mood meter, where we essentially try to see what mood our dog will be in. On one end, it can be depressed, and on the other, it can be manic. It's great to know our dog is bipolar. Anyway, we'll aim for manic. We're gonna bet everything on our dog, because you're about to see what a dog on steroids looks like. Oh yeah, if they did a piss test on this dog, it would melt the cup. We got our winnings and we can immediately continue betting for Wednesday. We'll bet it all on Light Neil, win the race, and double our money. We'll bet it all on Rock Jack, win the race, and triple our money. And finally, send our dog off to camp. Okay, now that we have $2 million, clicking the $10,000 button is annoying. So I decided to program an auto clicker to do the clicking for me. 
I programmed it in C sharp because Python hates me on my computer. Anyway, let's test it out. It should hopefully click the button really fast. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with gas. This may feel abrupt, but the rest of the playthrough involves me betting huge amounts of money. In fact, it eventually took about 20 to 40 minutes to bet it all with the auto clicker. Otherwise, the rest of the game was one repetitive cycle of betting, juicing my dog, winning, betting, juicing my dog, winning. Soon enough, I was shown this message. I beat the game and gambled up to $7 billion. There you have it everyone. Thanks for watching this gambler's playthrough of Greyhound Tycoon. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. If there are any other games or flash games you can think of, please leave a comment below.